Today, we have some exciting news about Android 15 and Samsung's upcoming One UI 7. There's a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. Android 15 is almost ready to roll out, and that means Android phone makers are gearing up to introduce their versions of the software. Samsung, for instance, is getting ready to release One UI 7, its customized version for Galaxy phones. And guess what? The new One UI might be packed with features similar to iOS 18. A well-known leaker named Chunbei on X shared some juicy details from someone who tested Samsung's Android 15 version that's still in development. It seems like Samsung is planning a mix of visual and practical changes, drawing some inspiration from iPhone's design. One of the major changes we're expecting is a redesign of all app icons. Samsung is supposedly making them rounder and giving them a 3D look. The gallery app icon will get a fresh rainbow color design, much like iOS's Photos app, but that's not all. One UI 7 might let you customize the shortcuts on your lock screen even more. You'll have a wider range of apps and actions to choose from for the corner slots. Another exciting update is the split notification shade, which separates notifications from quick settings. This is clearly inspired by Apple's way of organizing notifications and shortcuts in Control Center. And let's not forget the camera app. The new design will move all settings to the bottom edge and keep them hidden in a drawer until you tap a button to show them. This change aims to make the interface cleaner and more user-friendly. While iOS and Android have their differences, it's interesting to see how they've evolved to include similar features and design elements over the years. It makes sense to arrange things in familiar ways, just like you wouldn't want a car company to move the gas and brake pedals around just to be different. Now, the newest version of Android usually debuts with Google's Pixel phones in October, but this year, the next Google event where the Pixel 9 series will be introduced is happening in August. We expect these new Pixels to come with Android 15, so it might officially debut then. Samsung has a history of launching its new One UI before the end of the year, even when Google releases Android in October. So if you have a recent Samsung phone, keep an eye out for the new and very different One UI 7 update coming this fall. Interestingly, someone is already trying out One UI 7, Samsung's version of Android 15. This time, it's a Galaxy S23 Ultra that's ahead of the game, running Android 15 while most of us are still on Android 14. The well-known leaker Tarun Vats discovered the Galaxy S23 Ultra with One UI 7. He also shared the story about the Galaxy S24 Plus we mentioned earlier. The Galaxy S24 Plus scored 21 14 points in the simple core test and 66 16 points in the multi-core test on Keypench 6. The Galaxy S23 Ultra with One UI 7 is a US carrier lock version. Since Google announced that Android 15 is now stable, Samsung is testing it on their current phones. They plan to make it available for public beta testing through the One UI 7.0 beta program in the next few months. Samsung is likely to start the One UI 7.0 beta program for the Galaxy S24 series and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 first. Then they will extend it to Galaxy S23 users. After two or three months of testing, Samsung may release the stable version of One UI 7 for compatible high-end phones in the Galaxy S and Galaxy Z series. Once the Galaxy S23 Ultra gets the One UI 7.0 update, we'll still have two more Android OS updates left. Samsung promises four major Android OS updates and five years of security updates for the Galaxy S23 series. This promise also applies to the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and the Galaxy Z Fold 5. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more tech updates. As always, see you in the next video. And we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, 
might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilly smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices launched leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.